What's going on you guys, this is TechHD coming at you with a brand new video and today I am super excited to be making this video because we're going to be reviewing the Elgato ring light. Now this is their newest lineup when it comes to lighting. They have been making amazing lighting so far for streaming and content creating. They got the key light and then they got the key light air and those are amazing. But for me personally, for when it comes to streaming, I use a ring light and you can see it right behind me. I have the ring light all set up and I like the ring light, you know, but there are some things that are lacking in it and as far as performance and lighting and all that and the ring light from elgato from what it says fixes everything that i'm having problems with my current ring light so this is going to be pretty insane the ring light that i currently have problems with just to let you guys know about is that it's constantly flickering i've been having it for over two years now and now it's starting to flicker and the individual lights are very harsh on my face there's not much diffusion and it's pretty harsh on my eyes and it it sometimes it makes it hard for me to play and stream for a long period of time and it makes it harder to see on my monitor as well and then the individual led lights there's a lot of hot spots and i personally don't like that because individual lights are only for the really uh warm color temperatures and the really cool color temperatures so that's the one thing about the ring light that i don't personally like about mine whereas this this is nice and diffused it's really bright it's soft on the it's soft on the face from what it says and it works with your stream deck and your iOS and Android and also your Windows and Mac for when it comes to setting everything up which is really nice and I'm excited to be unboxing this we're going to be taking a look at it we're going to be talking about the features and then I'm going to show you guys how it overall is and if you guys should get it or not I'll have links to everything down in the description below so that you guys can go check it out but without further ado let's get right into it now first let's take a look at what we get inside the box first we got the quick start guide and I really like how this is all laid out easy to read since it's not in a booklet style Next we got the ring light itself, all the international power supply plugs, the power supply itself, a ball head for your camera, and finally the master mount S. Taking a look at the bottom of the ring light, we got the power switch that also acts as a reset switch, a quarter inch thread, and the power port. Setting up the ring light is very simple. First you attach the master mount onto your desk with the clamp, tighten it up, and then start to attach the ring light onto the ball head of the master mount. Next attach the ball head onto the ring light, plug in the ring light to power and then switch it on and you are now ready to set it up. Now there are multiple ways to set up and control the ring light. You could do it with an iOS or Android device or on your PC and Mac if you're on Wi-Fi. On an iOS or Android device download the Elgato Control Center app. Then on the app go to the settings on the top right and click on add new accessories. For iOS you'll need to go into your Wi-Fi settings and click on the new device to set up and connect it to your 2.4 or your 5 GHz network and you are all set. On Android, you're basically doing the same thing, but it's all through the app. Just select the ring light and connect it to the network. After that, you are all set. You can now control the ring light color temperature and brightness along with turning it on and off. You can also control the ring light through your PC and Mac by downloading the control center software. From there, you could do everything that you were able to do on your phone, like turning it on and off, changing the brightness and the color temperature. Also, if you don't want to use the app or software to control the ring light, you can also do it with the plus and minus buttons on the middle sides of the ring light to adjust the brightness and the color temperature. Hold each button until the ring light flashes to switch modes and you can single press the button to go up and down in brightness by 10% or up and down in color temperature by 200 kelvins. You can also long press the buttons to go straight to 100% or 3% in brightness and you can do the same thing in color temperatures to go straight from 2900 kelvin to 7000 kelvins. Now talking about the specs of the ring light is 17 inches in diameter, can go up to 2500 lumens and is bicolor, so it could go from 2900 to 7000 kelvins. And one of the most important things is that this is edge lit, which means that the LEDs doesn't directly hit you so you won't be blinded by the light while you're gaming. So it's softer on the eyes and so it doesn't also create an overexposure look and making hot spots on your face, unlike other LED ring lights. On top of that, it also has two diffusion layers to make the light softer on the subject. You have a reflective aluminum film a translucent grid panel, and an opal glass to blend and emit an even soft light. All of this is in a slim hard plastic build and takes up very little space. Most lights in the videography business needs big soft boxes that take up a lot of space with multiple layers of diffusion to soften the light and create that similar effect, and Elgato did all that in a small form factor. Now comparing the Elgato ring light with my previous ring light, you can see that there is very little diffusion and the LEDs are spread out and are directly onto the subject creating harsh hot spots and overexposing your face. Not only that, but when you dim the light, you can easily see the individual LEDs and mine are also bicolor, but not all the LEDs can change color temperatures. They had rows of which light had very cool tones and which ones are very warm tones and they will get brighter or darker to the change of the color temperature, not making it accurate and not using all the LEDs in the ring light. 
when you dim the Elgato ring light, you don't see the individual LEDs because of it being edge light and because of the multi-layer of the fusion, which makes it so much more premium. Also, my previous ring light did some flickering and some of the LEDs were going out. I've been using the Elgato ring light since the day it came out, so over a year now, and so far I haven't noticed any flickering, which also shows the quality. Alright you guys, so now what I want to do is I want to show you guys how the Elgato ring light looks like as the main light source in a streaming scenario. So right now you guys are seeing the ring light lighting me up with my camera and this is usually how it looks like when I'm streaming at twitch.tv slash tech underscore HD1 or on this YouTube channel as well. But yeah, basically I'm using an actual camera. Unfortunately, I'm not using a webcam. So for those of you guys that just have a webcam, you should be seeing similar results regardless whether you use a camera or a webcam or your phone. Regardless of the fact, you should be seeing very similar results. But basically with the camera, I really like this because this is the main light source and it really uh, brightens me up but with no hot spots or anything like that. And I'm nice and well lit. I got practical lights behind me. But not only that, I also have a secondary camera right here. And the cool thing about this scenario is that the ring lights over here, so it's not hitting me directly. So it's hitting me at an angle, but it's still lighting me up pretty good as well. But you still see a little bit of shadow over here and that creates a little bit of contrast. So it's a personal preference on what you guys think. But basically, this is how it looks like. And if I were to show you guys how strong the ring light is, if I turn it off with the stream deck, that's basically how powerful it is. And it lightens me up really well in a two camera uh, angle scenario. So if I go back to my main one, this is how it looks like when there's no light whatsoever. And then of course, when I bring it back on, I'm nice and well lit. You guys can easily see me. And then of course, I could change the brightness, the 75, 50, 25, 3% all the way to the minimum go back to 100 and then I can change the color temperature as well going from 7,000 Kelvin all the way to 2,900 Kelvin but I do have my camera set to about 5,600 Kelvin so match the camera with the light and you should be good with really good quality but yeah like I said let me know down in the comments below on what you guys think about this in a streaming scenario or in the recording scenario as well and like I said you should be seeing similar results when it comes to a webcam but unfortunately I can't really show you guys I don't have a webcam but same thing, you should be seeing the similar results with a webcam or with a phone. Now, my overall experience with the Elgato ring light is that I truly believe that this is the best ring light for content creators. Whether you're a streamer, a YouTuber, or you work from home because of the pandemic and you do a lot of video calls, the Elgato ring light is the best option for you. Not only am I able to change the brightness and color temperature straight from my phone or computer or directly from the ring light itself, but if you have an Elgato stream deck, you can create hotkeys to easily turn the ring light on and off, change the brightness all the way from 3% to 100%, and change the color temperature from 2900 kelvins to 7000 kelvins so you really do have multiple ways to control it it's able to easily hold my lumix s5 full frame camera with a 50 millimeter prime lens and i love that it just clamps onto the desk so you can have your desk very close to the wall without any issues for me my desk is motorized so because of it being clamped onto the desk it could raise and lower and i could still gain while being in the camera frame standing up or sitting down I do this a lot when I'm streaming some VR games, for example. The other major thing that I love is that Elgato has a lot of third-party support. So one of my favorite applications that I use when I'm streaming is Lumia Stream, and it is a great way to interact with your viewers. So I have a command for my viewers to use called Lights Out, and it turns off all of my smart lights, including my, my Elgato ring light, and then just turns everything back on after like 10 seconds or so. So I love that the Elgato products are supported with everything. Now, the only major con that I have is that this does not have any support with Amazon Alexa or Google Home. So I have all of my smart devices grouped with my Amazon Alexa and when I want to start streaming I just say my simple command and everything will turn on except my Elgato ring light. And same thing goes when I want to turn everything off. So please Elgato if you're watching this video come out with a firmware update to support Amazon Alexa and Google Home. It'll be much appreciated. But there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. The Elgato ring light is retailing for about $199 which I know is pretty expensive but for the quality that you're getting and with the multiple ways to control the light you get a lot more value and it will last much longer than any of the other ring lights that you get for uh, less than 100 bucks on amazon but there you guys have it hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys do have any questions or concerns please let me know down in the comments below as well as everything will be linked down in the description below thank you guys so much for watching please like comment and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you guys can be notified whenever i upload a new video follow me on twitter youtube instagram and twitch as always tech hd i'll catch you guys in the next video peace